In this sample problem, we're asked, a woman who is not a hemophiliac has a father who is. If this woman has a child with a man who is a hemophiliac, what is the probability of them having a hemophiliac son? First thing to note, it's asking what is the probability of them having a hemophiliac son, not what is the probability that their son is a hemophiliac. That seems like it's a very subtle difference, but it actually changes our answer. The way that it is worded, it's asking, okay, of all of their children, sons and daughters, what's the probability of a hemophiliac son? The second way that I phrased it, it's actually asking, or it's stipulating that they do have a son. What is the probability of a male child being a hemophiliac? So it takes the question. This one, we do have to consider the child's gender. The other one, we're just considering their status as a hemophiliac or not. Second important thing we need to notice here, woman who is not a hemophiliac has a father who is. Why is that important? Why do we care about the dad or the grandfather? You could also say in this question, well, any woman is going to be XX. We know for sure that hemophilia is a recessive trait. This woman does not have hemophilia, so she has to have at least one copy of the normal gene. But then what about this second gene here, or second allele? Is she a carrier, a heterozygote, or is she homozygous? If we just say she is not a hemophiliac, we don't know. But we say the father is a hemophiliac. And this is important because if the father is a hemophiliac, he has to be XY, right? He has hemophilia, he has to have the little h. He has no big h to pass on. We don't know what the mother's genotype was, but we know the mother had one big h that she passed on. The father has no big h to pass on. He has to pass on his little h to his daughter. So when it's talking about, oh, the father is a hemophiliac or the father isn't a hemophiliac, what the question is doing is it's specifying whether the daughter is a carrier or not. From there, we also know that the person she's having a child with is a hemophiliac. So the important thing, because this is a sex-linked trait, is that the father is only going to have one X chromosome. So when we make our Punnett square, I'm going to put the mother on top. It doesn't really matter which goes where. Mother is a heterozygote carrier. The father has hemophilia. And we're just going to bring everything across. So. Here we have a daughter who is a carrier. Here we have a daughter who has hemophilia. Here we have a son who does not. And here we have a son who does. So this question asks, what's the probability that they have a son with hemophilia? Probability, remember, is between 0 and 1. That's 1 out of 4. So the probability would be 0 0.25 for this question. The alternate way of wording this, what is the probability that their son has hemophilia? That would be 0 0.50. Because the way that that one would be worded is we would only care about the sons, and one out of the two sons should have hemophilia. So you've got to pay really, really, really close attention to the way that things are worded here. Is the son, is the gender of the child a given? Or is the gender of the child up in question? That will determine what your answer will be.